When our proprietor, He Sang Lee, saw the vineyard in 2005, he was fascinated both by the legacy of the vineyard and the old stone ruins dating back to Mr. Helm's time. When he purchased the property, he immediately hired famed architect Howard Backen to design Donna State's winery around the ruins of the original Helms site. Howard has a really good understanding of winemaking, and that's uh, really helped us, uh, sometimes just in terms of space, uh, those kind of winemaking require a lot of labor. It's like artisanal winemaking, if you like. Uh, we need space, we need light, uh, we need quiet atmosphere, we need music sometimes. Uh, we need all those elements to make us happier and to be able to make a happier wine. Donna Estates consists of three exceptional vineyards. Helms in the very heart of the historic Rutherford Bench, Lotus in St. Helena Hillside, and Hershey on the very top of Howe Mountain. The goal of our winery is to farm our vineyards and make our wines in a way that everyone can see the unique characteristics expressed in each site in our bottles. You really have to um, uh, understand the character of the grapes. Uh, you really have to minimize, if you like, the winemaking you are going to do. Organic farming with Silverado Farming Company brings a lot to the wines. It, uh, it allows the vines to balance themselves more naturally, uh, which gives us naturally, typically lower yields than, uh, than many other people in the valley. Uh, with uh, the grapes, uh, when they arrive here, with a lot of sorting, uh, if you wish, uh, to be able to have really uh, at the end uh, like a uh, little caviar going into a fermenter like we have behind us right now. Our farming, uh, starting beginning with bud break, um, is, uh, is incredibly meticulous. We make many, many passes to remove unwanted fruit and to really balance the vines. Being organic and having an organic vineyard, we really want to have a very uh, uh, clean product in a bottle and uh, we usually uh, make wines who are unfined um, and are unfiltered. Harvesting here at Helms is, uh, is typically done very very early in the morning. We're rarely picking more than one and a half to two to three tons per day. So we'll typically start around 6 a.m. or the moment basically the guys can see without cutting their fingers. And, uh, and we'll typically be done by 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Um, we bring enough guys that we can do it first thing in the morning, early in the morning, so the fruit comes into the winery nice and cold. We'll then uh, put that in the chilling container to make sure it has a constant temperature before we run that over our sorting line. Uh, regarding the, the slope that we are uh, having at Lotus, we harvest in small uh, lugs who are just uh, holding only 20 to 30 pounds of, uh, of fruit. Farming hillside vineyards, uh, particularly organically, requires a lot of handwork. Lotus in particular is too steep to actually use a tractor. We rely on, uh, on footwork for, um, for a lot of those tasks, um, in particular harvesting. Even uh, all of the picking is done by hand and, uh, and, then, and all of the fruit is carried out of the vineyard by hand. The first sort is in the vineyard, picking only the clusters that are ripe and only the clusters that are ready to go. The second sort would be on our sorting line, on the incline conveyor, going up into the destemmer. After the destemmer, we have a 12-foot sorting table, berry sorting table, pulling out everything but grapes, so that as the berries then drop off the sorting table into another incline that takes them up to the tank, uh, it ensures that everything in the tank is uh, whole berry and just not damaged in any way to create a, a, a beautiful fermentation and a, a wine that's very soft and supple and alive. During the sorting process, things have to be extremely slow, about, you know, one ton per hour. Most of the winery, even small size winery, will do at least 
5 to 10 tons per hour. Typically, if we're filling our oak tanks or our cement tanks, we'll be sorting indoors and uh, with our incline going directly to tank. If we're filling barrels, uh, occasionally we'll be outside um, where it just gives us a little more elbow room and room to move. We decided that the concrete tanks really fit extremely well with the kind of grapes we have from Lotus because basically they help us to keep the freshness of such a, an intense and rich uh, type of uh, a site. Uh, trying to avoid the heaviness that we can have sometimes when you create so powerful and so concentrated wines. Helps. We have fermenters like we call oak fermenters, uh, wooden vats. So instead of concrete, um, the whole tank will be oak. We feel like you know that's a more traditional way of making wine, and that helps for us to have a better oak integration and enhance a little bit the structure of the wine, if you wish. Hershey, it's a very also diversified vineyard. Um, uh, it's a larger site, uh, just purely in terms of acres planted, and we felt like to be able to uh, separate all those lots, uh, the best fermenters are um, small barrels, uh, usually used for aging, uh, but here we also use them for fermentations. Helms Vineyard contains sandy loam soils that are essentially the best of the Rutherford Bench and the Mayakamas foothills. A mix of red and black fruit, spices, white chocolates and earth nuts are the characteristics of this site. The most versatile of the three wines, with great drinkability upon release and potential for long aging. The lotus site and soils really are the most extreme in our portfolio. The aromatics are typically dark with black fruits and mocha. This wine structure and firm tannins indicates that it should be for the long haul. Hershey is Howell Mountain in its purest form. At around 2,000 feet, surrounded by rolling hills and redwood trees and comprised by volcanic ash. This vineyard is harvested the latest from all the other vineyard, creating the most restrained fruit profile. Beautiful floral and sage nuts, bright fruit, wonderful acidity with a dramatic minerality, which give it a unique dimension. The mission of Donna guides every step we take, and that mission is to make the greatest wines possible every year from our three exceptional vineyards wines that truly reflect the soul and character of the vineyards we farm. Dana is a, uh, is a Sanskrit term that means the spirit of generosity. It was a penne or a name that was given to Mr. Lee as a, as a young child. The um, lotus symbolizes rebirth and regrowth, rejuvenation, uh, and, and, and in a sense the, the 12 lotus that are on the label symbolize the calendar year and the growing season um, and the fact that every year we have a, a new wine, we have a new vintage, the vines have new growth, uh, and, uh, and we have the chance to, to create again something new and, and uh, something unique.